Today's visit marks the fourth time this year that Michael Regan has made a stop in the city of Jackson. For the head of a federal agency, that's a lot of time spent in just one city. But he says it's important to be here to help solve the city's water crisis. Now, this afternoon, Regan attended a community meeting at Jackson State where he answered questions from local stakeholders who've been affected by the constant water disruptions all this year. Regan said the EPA wants to enter into a consent decree with the city to once and for all find a solution to the city's water crisis. The EPA, the city, and the state have been negotiating a settlement agreement, a, agreement for over a month now since the O.B. Curtis water treatment plant shut down, leaving the city without water for days and, of course, frustrating residents, business owners, and people throughout the community. In a briefing a short time ago, Regan says a federal judge will oversee the deal that's put in place to make sure all sides are held accountable. Once we reach agreement, uh, that agreement will go to the city council. The city council will vote on it. Then it comes back to the mayor. Uh, the mayor will sign off on it. And then the Department of Justice will file that agreement with the federal court. Uh, we are moving with a sense of urgency. I believe that we're moving forward in a direction that is most beneficial to the residents of Jackson, uh, not only to secure a more dependable, uh, sustainable system, uh, but one that is affordable. Now, city leaders were forced to sign a confidentiality agreement so they can't talk about the details of this possible settlement between the EPA and the Department of Justice. But we are told the city council could be could be ready to sign off, sign that deal on Thursday and let the mayor, they were approve it rather, and let the mayor sign it as early as Thursday. And then the next step, of course, how they will get the funding, the millions of dollars needed to get the system stood up and running and functioning. For now, we're live at Jackson State University, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.